Hi everyone, it's uh, Mr. and Mrs. MLG here from Mighty Lancer Games, and uh, we're just going to be painting, doing a bit of chatting, and just chilling out this evening before uh, we hand over or pass over to Goblin Squire at 8 p.m. So welcome everybody. I can see Wicked D there in the chat, and. Uh, Welcome to everybody that has taken time out of their evening to watch us. So I'm just going to reposition my camera slightly so I can see a bit better. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just getting it so I can actually see what I'm painting. Yeah, well, that's alright. I'll. Uh, I'll sort it. Okay. Right then, so this evening I'm going to be painting uh, this lovely pirate queen, pirate princess here. She's a, a large scale figure, you can see her. So she uh, comes in several parts. I'm going to paint her in parts because I think that might be slightly easier. So she's uh, got like some kind of jobber style trousers and long boots on there so we're not going to worry too much about that I'm going to concentrate on doing her skin to start off with so where is my blue tack Maybe I do need to stick it again. There's her midriff. I don't know, because it joins onto her cloth. Uh, that, bit, that bit's her, uh, where the cloth joins her stomach. So you can just concentrate on painting the top bit and then paint her skin on that bit separately. Sure. Need to do her arms. Mm -hmm. Glue, fasten her on that way so her hair's stuck to the thing, and we'll paint her hair afterwards, painting her skin. And we've got a couple of arms to do, so we will. Hi, Crazy Fish! <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you with us. Hi! Sunburned flesh. I want her to look like she's heavily tanned. Ooh, what was that? Oh, thanks for following. to you. Right, I'm going to start off with some sunburned flesh and I'm going to paint her face and her uh, neck and her, her upper chest area. Upper Cleav chest. Yeah, her, her cleavage. <laughs> I'm going to try and do it all under the camera. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yours is really hard to see because it's black. How's it going with the paint a mini every day? Uh, Crazy Fish asks. Um, yeah, yeah, it's not. We've changed it. <laughs> so I think we got to, oh, I don't know. 100 and something days. And then I was just finding that because um, of life, basically, I was just, I, I can't paint until... A, around eight o'clock at night normally so i paint normally when uh, mister is streaming so it were it got to the point where 
I was painting at 8 o'clock at night and just grabbing some little tiny thing that I could just dry brush really easy um, just to get a mini of the day painted and that wasn't really in the spirit of the thing because I wanted to learn new styles and try new stuff so we've changed it to uh, I'm going to paint something every day but not necessarily finish so I have been painting this guy for two days um, but he has been painted every day, picked up a brush every day, just not painted an entire mini in a day. So it's going okay, it's just changed. And Pete wants to hydrate. Yeah, we'll do it in a sec. Um, Would you get like your random morning bits stuck to the painting I know, I've had to take them off because the, the blue tack isn't really strong enough to hold them on. So I think I might end up just giving up on that. What I maybe should have done... What I maybe should have done was drill some holes in uh, in the bits and then I could use it to pin them together later because she's, she's quite a sturdy model. Right, so... Woohoo! Tony's in the house! Yeah. Hi, Tony! <laughs> That's, That's right, you've got to hydrate in the seat. It's 34 yeah, currently in our room. Yay! Paint my drive for. Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought, Crazy Fish, that it was uh, better to change it up rather than giving up altogether. So that's what we did. You were doing such a good job. No, I am. actually painting. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. What have I got to tell everybody today? We've uh, taken delivery of our first stock of red grass games uh, painting accessories so uh, that's Mrs MLG's task to uh, get those added to the website oh, thanks. I thought you might like to do it I thought you'd be excited about it seeing as they were your uh, suggestion for us to see. Oh, don't go blaming me for stuff so we've got Painting handles, they're like their, uh, their work handles. We have got their paintbrushes, so they make two paintbrushes and they said that they're the only paintbrushes that you should really need. Uh, so we've got their paintbrushes for anybody that may like to use their brand of brushes. And we have also got, um, they've got two or three different wet palettes that they make and we have got something else can't remember what it is oh like refills for the wet palettes and additional ends for their painting handle thing so you get like spare tips and tub like packs of putty that you use for sticking your bases to the top of the handle a bit of a waffle but uh, yeah we've got some cool stuff and they do make apparently some excellent clippers but they didn't have any in stock when we placed our order so we'll keep an eye out from those i was most confused because i thought they were a french company but the package has actually come from germany so uh, yeah, strange but anyway so this skin i'm painting this with uh, sunburn flesh it's obviously going to take two coats because i'm trying to go straight over the black so we've done her, uh, just done her fingers there on this basket hilted sword, which uh, I need to finish undercoating. Once I've got her skin sorted, I'm going to paint the rest of the sword. And then I'm going to paint this hand in two parts. So up to the bracelet and then past the bracelet because uh, otherwise there is nothing to hold on to. And once I've got the skin done, I'm going to uh, stick these parts onto her body so I can get into all, make sure I can get into all the recesses. I thought I'd paint the skin separate before I stick her together. So this is 
for my large group entry for the Reaper Challenge League. Could have just picked something normal, but I don't like doing things that are easy. I just picked a normal 28mm pirate figure. But I've had this in my painting pile of shame for quite some time, and I just fancied giving it a go. So, I've no idea whether like it's economical in terms of points or uh, what have you. Just wanted to give it a try. And hopefully, I can do her justice. Reaper don't make this model like anymore, to my knowledge. It was part of their Master Series miniatures range, which were all large scale figures. But there's a few of them, I think, believe, that have been discontinued now. Oh, he's question is for you, my darling. Is it? No, I, I will look up in a second. Propaganda. Uh, can I order GW pre pre orders from you guys? Got my eye on the new Orc Stormcast box, but never done a pre order before. I believe it's not out for about a month, but I expect it will sell out pretty quickly, so I want to be prepared. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, Crazy Fish. If you are in the UK uh, or Europe, then uh, we can certainly hook you up. So we don't know uh, when it's coming or what the uh, what the price is going to be yet. We were expecting it to be um, a, around for us to get some preliminary numbers in with our sales rep from GW uh, yesterday. But... Obviously, we've got Sisters of Battle stuff and other things instead, which uh, took me a bit by surprise. So, uh, what we're going to do, or what we will be doing with the uh, the new box, is we'll be making a like a wish list of pre pre orders, and then uh, so if you'd like to sort that out, then please drop us a line to. MightyLancerGames at gmail.com, isn't it? Yes, darling. Yeah, MightyLancerGames at gmail.com. Just drop us a quick email with your details, sorry, your email address and, uh, and what have you. And what we can do is send, when the time comes, is we can send you an invoice for it and then that will secure you a copy. Uh, and it's easier if we can do it that way than just everybody rushing to get it on a Saturday morning when it goes on pre-order and if what happened with Indomitus and Curse City and what have you happens with this one then we'll sell out in about 15 minutes and it's 15 minutes? just a crazy mess not 3 minutes yeah, wasn't it? it was for Indomitus it was bonkers wasn't it so uh, yeah if you if you would like to do that, if you'd like to secure your copy, then uh, then let us know and we can sort that out for you. But we don't know how many we're getting, and we can't do it. N uh, no, but we should. I've been told that we uh, will be able to get decent numbers. That's all right. Then. So uh, GW have said that they've made lots. Uh, yeah, well they didn't say that with Care City actually. They did say that with Indomitus, and we got several hundred, didn't we? So it was uh, not too bad. Curse City was a strange situation. We can't talk about Curse City anyway, because GW won't tell us what's uh, what's going on there. <laughs> we don't know the answers. We don't want to misinform people. Uh, I'll be honest, Goblin Squire, I am expecting the price to be uh, about £125. I think it's going to be based on Indomitus and Curse City prices. It'll be £125. The fact that it's a similar style box to Indomitus with the rule book and the other stuff. Alright, no, we haven't. I'm I'm guesstimating. I need to make that clear. I'm guesstimating. I I think uh, RRP will be 125 pound based off previous stuff. So there was a lot of stuff in the Indomitus box, and uh, there was a lot of stuff in the Indomitus box, and that was 125 quid. And the this the pitching this 
the information that we've had from the sales team already is that it's a launch box like Indomitus and uh, so once it's once it's sold through that'll be it but they've made plenty for launch and that's why you're getting like the fancy edition rule book in the box and what have you now if if they do put it up to 150 pounds that will be surprising but I think that uh, it's going to be it's going to be 125 because they know that a lot of third-party retailers are going to sell it for 100 pounds which is a nice round number isn't it Did I see something a little bit higher up the chat that says from Tony that says his uh, stuff's turning up to him tomorrow? You just don't like the painting, do you? I'm sorry. Let's have a look for you. Tony says, speaking of GW, I got an I got my email from Royal Mail to inform me that my vampire-like toys plus pigments will be turning up tomorrow. Super. Yeah, we, uh, we had an unexpected uh, collection from Royal Mail on uh, uh, whenever it was, yesterday. Yeah, Bank Holiday Monday. We weren't expecting Royal Mail to come and collect it, so we had a whole load of stuff uh, packed up and ready from Saturday afternoon. And uh, we weren't expecting them to come, and then they did. So uh, ev everybody gets their toys a day earlier than they would have done, hopefully. So that's good. We like that. And uh, I'm guessing that you're liking the new vampires, Tony. I hope they, uh, I hope they get some more availability of the Crimson Court, the uh, whatever it is, Night Vault, Beast Grave, Diachasm, Warband, because uh, I like a couple of the models out of that, and I didn't get a chance to snag one for myself. It's, uh, that's one of the things that GW have been out of stock of ever since it came out. That and the new vampire character. When they first showed off pictures online of this the single character, the one with the bats coming out of her hair, uh, I decided that I thought that that would be especially cool with maybe a, a helmeted head. Um, if I can change it up somehow, I might give her a mask or whatever and make her a character to go with my Dark Elf army. Because uh, I think that model looks particularly cool. I think the rules for Dark Elves in Age of Sigma, as Dark Elves as they were, I can't remember, they call them now Druchi or something like that. They're part of the Cities of Sigma armies, I think. Or some kind of offshoot of Daughters of Cain, not quite sure. But I don't think they're as uh, well supported as they used to be for Warhammer Fantasy Battle. But a couple of our locals want to play Warhammer Fantasy Battle. So that's good. Get to uh, get to have a go at that at some point. Not played Warhammer for years and years. Let's uh, do this lady's midriff. We also got a very large, un not very exciting, but we've uh, got a large Airfix restock today. Well, why is that not exciting? Well, it's, it's not like elves and uh, vampires and other fantasy like stuff, is it? It's, uh, it's planes and tanks and stuff. Got loads of uh, scenics and basing material type stuff, which uh, which is pretty cool. And with that, we've got that sorted and all uh, checked and done before I left work. What's going on there? Have I messed this up? Is that supposed to really be 
like a high waist on your trousers, what is that? What is that? I don't know, what is that? Mm, I don't know. I think I might have uh, messed this up. Well, not particularly messed it up, but painted a bit that I didn't need to be painted. The problem, the other problem that I have with this is that reference pictures for this model uh, are quite hard to find because it's not in production anymore. I don't know like how popular it was when it was available. There doesn't seem to be a great deal of painted uh, examples circulating around online, and most of the ones that do are all taken from the same photo angle where you can't see some of the detail. Excellent. Good news. Crazy fish, we uh, we will add you to our list, and uh, and we will be in touch when we get more information. I think the box looks pretty good. I was talking to somebody uh, somebody about it today. I think I'm I'm a little on the fence about it, if I'm honest, because I'm not sure. I really wanted to like the orcs when I first saw the orcs. I saw the guy. Um, the guy on like the hyena monster thing, the orc character, and I thought that that looked pretty cool. But then I'm not too sure about the big crossbow things and what have you, the the orc side of things. I I have an Iron Jaws army for Age of Sigma, which I uh, will eventually get finished painting, and I've I've played a couple of games with it and lost both. Oh no, I've played three games. Won one, lost two. Uh, and I was kind of hoping that I might be able to fit the new models in with my existing Iron Jaws. But I'm not sure that they really fit the same aesthetic. I was hoping that there might be uh, some cool new stuff. I quite like the Hobgrots. Maybe I might get some of those. And uh, just not paint them in like sickly yellow-orange colour. I remember I had hobgoblins and uh, black orcs in a chaos dwarf army years ago, and I and I really like those. Yeah, that's right. The the really big crossbow thing is like a, a looks like a siege engine type thing. That's separate to the box, and then the uh, trogoff with the rider uh, on it. They're going to be separate releases, and I expect that they will come out at the same time as the box. Just guessing, but seeing as they've shown it all off together, I would think that they're probably going to be supporting uh, supporting releases. I'm going to have to paint that hand again. I love a bit of the paint. Yeah, I quite, I do quite like the Stormcast figures uh, in it, which is unusual because I'm not really like many of the Stormcast models previously. But I think these guys, these ones, look significantly better than the previous releases. Better proportioned, I think. But I've never really been a fan of the golden armour. I think they look really good with silver armour. And I know that you can paint them however you like, but it's, uh, it's like Ultramarines for 40k. I've never... I know that they're the poster boys of 40k, but I'm just not a huge fan of the blue colour scheme. Well, the bright blue colour scheme. My Space Marines are blue, but they're dark blue. Um, and they look a bit different. Right, I need to uh, I need to put some shade on my... So I've done the skin really dark, but I'm still gonna put a bit of shade on it just to get those recesses. Yeah, that's right, pink's more my speed. Pink Space Marines for the win. So, I think he's about there. I haven't really got a plan for him. So, uh, that might just have to be that done. Not quite sure if I completely like it or not. But we'll, uh, we'll let it dry and then I'll have to decide what I'm going to do with this. So currently it is 
dark stone, very badly painted dark stone, probably needs another another go. But normally I just paint all my stone grey, but this, this colour is quite cool. I don't know if we uh, have to carry on with this kind of brownie stone rather than grey. Not sure, what do you think? I think that would look cool. Are you going to pick the dinosaurs? Dinosaurs? Are you going to... Oh, thank you, Corinico. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks for following. Thanks for following. That's very uh, much appreciated. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so not dinosaurs, are they? Dragons around the base. Oh, how, yeah. are, how are you going to paint those? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. What do we think? Brownstone, grey stone. If I do brownstone, I've never done brownstone before. Yeah. Then I'll have to try and figure out how to do brownstone. That's good. First this time for like everything. Pile of poo there. Oh, nice. Ooh. Okay. Little pile of poo. Delightful. It's a family friendly stream. Is it poo? <laughs> Tony's trying to see now. Oh, brown. oh, I can't do it brown because that's in the cupboard that I'm buried. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not keen on those, uh, Tony, the centaur vampires. I know what you mean. The, um, I did see on uh, on one of the Facebook groups, and I can never, whenever I t try and tell everybody about something, you know, or I'm going to show somebody, I say, oh, I've seen this post on Facebook, I'll show you it, and then I can never ever find it on my phone. But I saw a post in one of the Facebook groups where somebody had converted the character, the, the weird centaur character, and uh, they'd converted it. So they've taken the like weird leg bits off and made... I'm, I'm not helping because I'm waving my hands around and you can't really see what I'm doing. But they'd made, taken the legs off and sculpted like a long flowing dress down around the stone that she's stood on. And uh, so they kept the body. And then they'd repositioned the wings so that the wings were behind her. So it looked like a really um, I don't know, impressive centerpiece model. Like the wings were framing the body and, and it just looked absolutely fantastic. And I kind of think that's how GW should have made it in the first place. But I think they've got a bit of a thing going on at the moment for like centaur type characters. Can I ask you a question? Sure. The, the problem is that I have to switch my microphone on to talk and that involves waiting for him to finish sometimes. Isn't it, sweetie pie? I only want to ask you a quick question then I'll let you carry on. Oh, okay. So everyone wants me to do it brown, and I've never done brown stone before. And Tony says that Xandra dust is a good idea, but you have all of the GW paint. Yeah. I don't have any. So what what stony browny colours would you suggest, my darling? I suggest is that I go over to the games workshop drawer and get you some Xandra dust if you've got some. Yeah, but then what do I do with that? So then you would. Use that as your base coat and then... Because it's this colour, probably. So you could, uh, well you could just... I, I would maybe... <sighs> Alright, let's start again. I would just dry brush up from that to lighter... Well, what colour is this? Because I can't find it in the colour. I don't know, I don't know what you used. Like... Dark stone? Was it army paint or dark stone? Yeah. So then... So so then I would maybe use uh, some like field brown or something like that. Would you like me to find you some? No, you just carry on walking. And then and then maybe and then maybe some bone as a highlight. Pete the Priest says you should paint the dinosaurs pink. I'm not doing dinosaurs. I know. That's just being silly. What colour shall I paint the cushions that she's sitting on? I think they all should, they need to look very opulent, don't they? I think they need to be different colours. So we'll, uh, we'll base coat one red, I think. The one that she sat on that can be red. Go for that. Okay. 
Or maybe you should have gone for a darker red. I think we'll, I think we'll go for a darker red. Get this one. What? This one. Yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, I really like velvet. It's it's really soft and like cuddly. There's a delay in the wishy bees is uh, coming back with some kind of retort. I'm sure. No, I know. That's silly. Oh. So. <laughs> That's what I do to him all the time, what do you do? Yeah. Because when I ask for help, he didn't give me any, so I give up. I was thinking, you always think, when I delay for thinking, you always think that I'm uh, just being a pain on purpose. So, everybody in chat. Uh, I can't have any GW because Misty's got it all. So, what else should I use, do you think, to make this brown? Awesome. Thank you, Goblin Squire. Just quality tap water today. Yeah, but their GW colours ain't got none of them. I can get you them. I told you I can get you it out of the drawer. You said no, you work with some of the Anyway, we're not arguing. Yeah, no, GW, no, GW, Goblin Squire. He, he, he has that at his side. He's, he's disappeared to have a rummage. Actually got any Zandri dust, that's no good. We'll have to have a look on the we'll have to have a look on the comparison chart. See what the options are. Yeah, brown is one of the colours I don't like. That's the problem. I can never find a brown. If you want to paint a tree or anything, I can never find a brown I actually like. They're, they're always too light or too wishy-washy and I don't like any of them so I try and avoid painting brown. <laughs> yeah, russet brown is uh, Mr's favourite brown wicked D. It's universal. Never Why? <laughs> Don't like brown. Yeah, each to their own, I guess. No, you don't know what to do. and then I'll see if I can find a colour match. No. Let's 
So, uh, what colour do you think we should do this cushion behind her? So we've got a red one there. I don't want to do them all the same. So we've got a red cushion. I think a blue cushion and a green cushion. So she's going to be on the sand. We'll paint the uh, starfish like a, I don't know, maybe an orangey kind of colour. The treasure chest goes in that position there. Full of loot. I'm going to paint the ins. In fact, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to paint the inside of the treasure chest with the red, as well. So the inside of the treasure chest is is lined with luxurious red. It's got this uh, fancy dancy dagger with a big basket hilt on. Yeah, it could be a zombie, couldn't it, Asma? <laughs> zombie says that someone's cut off half your lady. Is that a spine sticking up? Yeah. And you've got lots of uh, lots of votes for purple. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Chronico says purple, and Wicked D says purple. Pete obviously says pink, because that's Pete's go to colour. Purple. So, a, a blue one and a purple one. Purple's a royal colour, isn't it? As soon as she's a pirate princess, we should. Uh, with that. Or regal purple for one and deep green for the other. Yeah, that might work. That might work. And uh, and yeah, nice coral orange, like a pinky, almost pinky orange for the uh, starfish, I think. And then I'm going to do this, this other shell, this kind of like roundy shell. I was thinking I might do that almost pearlescent white or something like that. So it's a nice, nice bright colour. And then we've got a little monkey. So he features on the base as well. I've got to finish undercoating him. And uh, and then also on top of the hand here with the uh, sword, she has a parrot sitting on her thing. So I've got to paint this parrot at some point as well. Have I got have I got a purpley colour? Oh we've got abyss blue. I think we'll use that as a base for our purple cushion and work up from abyss blue. I don't know what porphyry is. Asmo. Not not sure what that is. Oh my abyss blue's blocked up. I need to get my pokey stabber jobby. Oh, I think we've lost Tony again. Oh. Uh, just pulled the neck out of the paint. That's no good, is it? <laughs> ah, sorry. This uh, this paint is just not not uh, cooperating. There we go. Ha. Oh no! What? Nearly lost my pokey tool inside the paint. That would have been. You mean a... your dressmaker's pin? Yeah. That would have been a mistake. What a mistake to make there. Yeah. Ah! It won't come out. Oh, this is fun. I know, I'm sorry everybody. Uh. There we are. That was, a, that was an old eel. Alright, I understand. I understand. Porphyry is a royal purple. Well, that's okay, because she's a pirate princess, so we can... Uh, we can go with that. She can have purple. She's obviously uh, stolen it from some royal ship. Royal ship, yeah. I think. Make up a backstory for her. <laughs> Do you have to make up backstories for her? Uh, they challenge me. No, I don't think it's mandatory. It's just for fun. <laughs> we 
could do. Says every time you brush, it looks like you're going in fast forward. It's because I'm super speedy, that's why. I have to make up for all the time I have to stop and switch the mic on and adjust the cameras and everything. So I've got super speedy when I'm painting. <laughs> what? I'm just um, chuckling at the thought of fast forward painting. Arriba, arriba. Yeah. Yeah. Why is uh, why is Speedy Gonzalez never on the uh, TV anymore? Probably not PC. Yeah, that's royal purple, abyss blue cushion. I imagine that if they reproduce this mod model now, it would probably have to be resin because it's quite a weighty lump of metal. Oh, there you go. You see, as as was answered. Yeah. All right. Why uh, they tried to remove Speedy and the Mexican outcry brought him back? Is that because he was a strong Mexican uh, figure? I think, rather than it like being a, a slayer on the racist on the uh, slayer on the Mexican nation, the Mexicans actually liked him. A strange topic now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, wait, yeah. What is, what has happened to Popeye? I think didn't Popeye get like a bit of a resurgence or something? Yeah, they remade it and it was terrible. Like everything when they remake everything and it's terrible. We'll use some Christmas wreath, some special edition Christmas wreath for our green cushion. I've just stolen that off my yeah. bag. I have, can have it back once I've put a bit on the palace. Oh, Posture check. Hat me! <laughs> you, know, you know you can't see him, right, Tony? <laughs> I'll, I'll, as soon as I'm painting a pirate, I'll put the pirate hat on. Well, the one that cuts off the circulation to your brain. Yeah. Strong. Oh, that flies annoying. Sound, sounds like a fly, just a big fat fly, flying around in the roof, just trying to annoy us. I think the green's green. <laughs> green. I don't know. I don't know what Pete the priest's or who who he's talking to. Is he, are you painting a goblin and it's not cooperating? I understand. Oh, sorry. I, uh, yeah, I'm just dense. <laughs> just... Came for the painting, stayed for the domestic. I'm not sure about this green. Although I suppose if it was in the sun. You can't really see it, it's really dark. Your fingers really dark. I gave 
Is that any better? That's a bit better, isn't it? It's as soon as you move your hand, you just block out the light. You need to move the light so it's not your hand in your hand. Is that better? I think that looks a bit better. But how would you pick out the blind? Oh. You said pick out the blind. I don't know, may I have a look? Uh, it's taking it off me now. Well, I, they're slightly raised, aren't they? I would maybe paint them with a, a lighter colour to make them stand out a bit more. Because they do look like they're carved as part of the stone, so you probably just want to dry brush them as part of the thing, maybe just go a little bit heavier over the dragons and see if you can lighten the detail up there a little bit more. <laughs> it do, it does now. I'm just watching Mrs. MLG on the uh, on the thing. It does look like you're super speedy. <laughs> awesome. So I'm thinking that what I'm going to do is do this do this green and then we'll go back to some skin because it's so warm in here that the Reichland flesh shade wash that I put on should probably be dry by now. Her eyes are quite big. I wanna I wanna try and paint her eyes before I do too much else as well. Cause I always try and paint eyes at the end and then I end up going back and painting half the face because I've messed it up. So there's our base coat for cushions. Come back to those. Right, let's get some, uh, see if we can do some eyes. Paintbrush stands the wrong way around, they confused me. So what do we reckon to the brown then? Is it looking? Brown? <laughs> Is it looking like stone? Don't know. What do we think? I think it looks alright then. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put my other glasses on. Need to need to get close up. Got some uh, got some special glasses made up at the optician, so I have magnifying glasses for painting. Because I'm getting old now. In there, managed to. I've still managed to paint outside of Raya. So, seeing as I don't like any brown, what I did was mixed uh, this one, ochre brown, and dark stone together to give me my first dry brush, and then I mixed them together again with more of this for the second dry brush. Then I did the third dry brush with driftwood brown and then I did the final one with 
Poof. And this is where we are now. So that's what I used for that. Excellent. So this is MLG doing an amazing paint job as normal. And uh, I'm just trying to paint this face just a little. It's got a uh, quite a strong jawline, this lady. She's got one, one eyeball that's very hidden by her hair. Just a, got a little bit of white on her eyelid inside there. Yeah, I'm not reading that one out, Chris. <laughs> So, my plan is to highlight her skin up a little bit and then try and or do do or do not there is no try uh, so I'm gonna <laughs> just black along to myself mm. yep uh, so I'm gonna highlight her skin up a little bit and then I'm going to apply a bit of color to her face so she's got some makeup on I think yeah, which I've, is a new uh, new thing for me, really. But we're going to try it and uh, see if we can get it. So she's got quite heavy eyebrows, so I need to paint her eyebrows in. But I also want to do it so she's got a lot of uh, eyeshadow on and some nice uh, bright lipstick or something on, possibly. I might do her lips maybe a, a, a darker brown slightly darker brown maybe not give her like vibrant red lips but we'll do something but um what can we do here she paint her eyes green. i think we should give her green eyes chinese girls do not come with green eyes <laughs> If you haven't watched it before, or you have watched it, you should watch it again. Go and watch Big Trouble in Little China, but after everybody's finished streaming this evening. It's, uh, it's an awesome film. Yeah. So, seeing as she's a larger scale mini, I'm going to try and uh, try and paint some coloured eyeballs on her. So Wicked D says, I'd be tempted to add a bit of decayness to the stern. What do you mean decayness? You mean like drippy bits? <laughs> think he's, you think he's dripping onto the stone? Don't know, where would he drip down to? Down here I suppose, wouldn't he? Drip down there. Ew, this is just gross though. Dra dragon ooze. <laughs> they want me to add dragon ooze. Yeah, give it a go. <laughs> My uh, lady's looking a bit like that startled gnome out of the uh, Wizkids thing. I think I need to put a little bit of something in to stop her eyes being quite so bright. Don't know what I'm I'll, I'll focus on you. Yeah, it's I'm trying. There you go. There you go. That's not looking as bad as I thought. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not as bad it's not as bad as I thought. Back down here.
friend. We've got some russet brown out. Oh, yeah. I haven't, no. Oh, well, just any brown that you've got on the table. I've got this. I've got that. Yeah, that, that one. I'll have that. Thank you. Hydrate, hydrate. Awesome. We shall be along shortly, Goblin Squire. Right then. So we're going to uh, just mix a little bit of... Oh, I could have just mixed the red. Silly of me. I'm just going to try mixing a little bit of this flesh colour with some darker brown and see if we can get an appropriate colour for her lips. That's not it. <laughs> oh, that's alright. Let's go with that. So I've mixed a little bit of red, a little bit of darker brown, and a little bit of the flesh colour. And I'm just going to try and paint her lips in uh, without making them look silly. I don't want it to look like she's got tart red lipstick on, but it's got to look a little bit different to the skin around it. Yeah, we uh, we watched it a couple of weeks ago. We uh, we enjoy it. It wasn't last night, was it? The night before, we watched The Crow again for the first time in years, and. Uh, Boy, is that a bad film. <laughs> you have all the it was the it was the original as well. And uh, I remember thinking that it was good years ago, but it's it's terrible. And it's so weird. The uh, They don't really explain some of the characters enough, I don't think. Isn't it? Oh, there is. I believe so. Yeah. They're, like, so they made a follow-up to it uh, shortly after, or, or fairly re close to the first one. And then there's a uh, there's a remake of it which we haven't seen. Wasn't there? No. I've, I have seen the second one. I think. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so next I'm going to take some uh, suntan flesh, I'm going to use that as my next paint colour. Oh, awesome, your dragon is looking absolutely fantastic. Is that good enough, Wicked B? It looks awesome, yeah, well, it was. it is a sad end, I don't know exactly what happened, I heard that like somehow he, managed, he got shot during the filming. We, uh, we we talked about that briefly the other night, but neither of us knew what the actual story was, do we? I think it was like the isn't it the scene where he stood on the table and they all shoot at him that somehow they managed to get some uh, live rounds in or whatever. Why uh, live well, I don't know. That's that's what I mean. I can't remember. I did read something in the in the newspaper or whatever at the time about it, but I can't remember. Is that the guy, that's the guy's name, is it? The, uh, the guy who's the bad guy. We, look, we looked a couple of the people up afterwards. I made Mrs. MLG look up a couple of the actors on uh, 
IMDB to see what else I'd seen them in. Got shot by a blank shell casing. That's uh, quite horrific. I think that's enough on the base then. I think it looks really good. You can see those dragons pretty well. Awesome. Just need to get it varnished and then it can uh, kill, a, kill a Pathfinder adventuring party on a, on a, on a table near you soon. It'd be cool if I could put some like moss or something on the stone as well. Yeah. I don't know what we've got. You're going to have to have a look in our box of tufts. I don't think we've got any like bangers. No. Right then, anyway. No, that's that's what I need for my diorama piece as well. Asma says, what what do you guys do with all these minis you're painting? Mine all go in a drawer and then I get told off for not varnishing them. <laughs> yeah. So we're uh, we're gonna do two things with them. One is we're gonna take some of them to the shop to display, and uh, the other thing is that we're gonna have a case at home when I get round to ordering it. We're gonna have a case at home so that we can uh, display them at home, and also uh, so that when we get to playing some RPGs at home, that I can quickly and easily whip the models out of the cabinet to. Put on the tabletop. Are you going to show yours off before we go? I I am. So this is uh, this is where we're up to so far. I think I'm fairly happy with my progress this evening. Too 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 close. It's hard trying to line it up, you know. Okay. So there we are. This is my uh, this is my evening's progress. Going to work on a li little bit more, but I think that that's pretty cool. Thank you very much, Moxie. So uh, thank you, Pete the Priest. We will uh, see you all soon tomorrow night, 8 p.m. And uh, right now we're going to go and raid the Goblin Squire. Thank you very much for watching. We Thanks everyone. It. Thank you. Bye. Bye.